Hello everyone, my name is Dan the Tutor. Today I'm gonna to show you a quick and easy physics problem. This is related to the concept of kinematics, and here it goes. Let's say you're at the top of a high tower. It can be the Eiffel Tower, it can be just a tall building, it doesn't really matter. But here you are as a dot at the top. Now what you're going to do is you're going to throw the ball at two different trajectories. One trajectory you're gonna throw at like this and it's gonna go like that. And the other trajectory you're gonna throw to the left and it's gonna look something like this. Now what's different is the velocities that you're throwing at. So for instance, this velocity you're throwing at here, let's say it has a velocity of four i hat plus six j hat. Now, if you're not familiar with i hat and j hat, then you're probably familiar with x hat and y hat, it's the exact same thing. I don't care which one you use, but that's the first velocity on the right. The velocity on the left, since it points to the left, let's say it has a velocity of negative five i hat plus six j hat, which is the same thing as negative five x hat plus six y hat. Now the negative just means it's going to the left. If it's positive, it means it's going right or upward. And so my question is going to be which hits the ground first? And this is a really easy question if you know what to look out for. All you need to do to determine which one hits the ground first, you just need to tell me which has the greater VY. In other words, the greater Y component of velocity. If you can tell me that, then you know which one's gonna be in the air longer. So I think it's pretty straightforward in the theory. In other words, if you throw something more upwards, it's going to hang in the air longer. And the only thing I have to say more than this is I only care about the Y component. I do not care about the X component at all. So all we need to do is compare these two objects in terms of their Y components. So since they have the same Y components, they're both six J hat or six Y hat for both, they will hit the ground at the same time. And that's it, that's our answer. Hit the ground at the same time. And again, the reason why is because their Y component of velocities are equal to each other. Now, if I asked a second question, if I asked which one travels farther in terms of the horizontal distance X, which one will travel farther? Well, that's now a question for the X component. Specifically, we would use the equation velocity equals distance over time. We use this for the X axis of a projectile motion problem. And yes, this is projectile motion because why? Because we have objects going through the air affected by gravity and only gravity. So this is projectile motion, and in other words, I have this equation to use. Now, one thing you should know, this is only the x component of velocity. It's not the total velocity. It's not the y component of velocity. It's only the x component of velocity. And if I want to solve for my distance, just multiply both sides by the time, vx times t. Now, normally we would need more information to solve this distance to see which one's farther. But since we said they'll hit the ground at the same time, that means whichever one travels the further distance just has the greater velocity in the x direction. And if I look back to my original question, it looks like the 5i, even though it's negative, it's still greater in terms of magnitude. The one on the left is going to travel farther because its velocity is greater. So the answer is left object travels farther. And if we wanted the exact distance, I'd have to give you numbers, but that's not the point of the question. The point is just to understand this concept. So that's it. Just wanted to show you a quick and easy physics problem. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, and bye-bye.